Ah, das kann man gar nicht. 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 Das kann man gar in the good old days, you'd ask me something. Easier, isn't it? And then you can move on from describing what, you know. Because then you can show the source material and then talk about the... Uh, talk about Hans Fallada, the soft ashes of Berlin snowing on Hans Fallada's nose. This is the fanzine, and this is the Berlin art resistance. What they're resisting, or if it's all a bit too late, who knows? But I suppose resistance usually is too late. I did this myself because I, I used to make fanzines when I was 17 and I wanted to do a source book for the, mater for the material. Again, this is Fallad of the Horse from uh, the fairy tale, The Goose Girl. As a princess and her lady-in-waiting goes on a journey with her when she's going to marry a prince. The servant takes over her identity and makes the princess be the hand servant. But Falada the horse, her horse that she goes on, he saw what happened and the girl who's stolen her identity has Falada's head cut off so he won't grass her up and his head is hung above the gateway through the town. But even with his head cut off, Falada still tells the truth. Yeah, that's right. Don't listen to anything I say. Yeah. Because I'd be telling the truth and no one wants it. <gasps> it's relevant in the sense that I, I, when I was 17, I was Gus Claudius. And Claudius is someone who told the truth from the past, bore witness. So, I mean, it's, it's maybe it would certainly attract me an idea like that. Fallida's escape is actually. There's a version of it here. I made several paintings of Fallida's escape. This takes place in Karwitz, where he lived, which is about 50, mi 50 or 60 miles away from Berlin, I guess. It's like the Lake District. And so this friend of mine is organising a, a thing where we look at girls in high heel boots. There's a key, a key moment in Fallida's life when he, uh, uh, when he has an argument with his wife towards the end of the war and uh, there's a shot fired and she takes the gun off him and clouts him around the head with it. And he was then ar arrested and put in a mental asylum, which is where he wrote The Drinker, which is his book about addiction. And he wrote that by getting paper by, because he was writing a uh, piece for Goebbels, supposedly. And he said, well, I need the paper because I'm writing this uh, novel for Goebbels. And uh, he, instead he wrote this uh, book about addiction. And um, I decided that after his wife hit him, I, I did these paintings and after I thought, well, after his wife hit him on the head, he goes outside and then Berlin's burning and the ashes of Berlin being caught up in the big wind and get all the way to Karwitz and drift down and he sheared his face. And then he dreams of escaping across the lake. escape. Then Falada, the horse's severed head, answered, Alas, young queen passing by, if only your mother knew, her heart would break in two. And that would, if only your mother knew that she'd been robbed of her, of her um, right to marry the prince or her identity. And the poem says, Falada's escape, the lake was frozen in, can you believe it? She'd actually taken the pistol from his drunken hands and belted him with it. So what if he'd fired an innocent shot? No one was hurt, no harm done. Stepping into the sudden cold, he dropped to his knees, sobbing. His wife watches grim mouth from the window. He stands sway and then staggers off, his blood spotting his footsteps down to the landing. There in front of the frozen lake, he dreams of escape, pushes his arm through a drift and reveals the summer painted hull of a boat. The police will be here soon. Eyes blink in tears and blood, he looks to the southern sky, stained dirty orange, 
snowing the soft ashes of Berlin upon Falada's nose. A lot of my work is forcing myself not to, fit, to take it to another level, to leave it, try and, uh, try and escape from the painting as well. Not be duty bound to um, make a cake too full of raisins. Tu mi puoi mandare un'immagine però? This one is of me pulling my son on a sledge last winter. I did a large series of these and um, there's one of Huddy pulling my son pulling the sledge up the hill <coughs> hopefully these stories I'm telling are immaterial and as everybody's children and or fathers it's in this case it'd be any father and any child and it's uh, I suppose it's a parent doing what they're supposed to do Yeah. I like them all so I do my work like. You know, it's nice in here. Also because all of the pictures are so large, but and then but in this yeah. room it feels kind of cozy somehow. That's right, yeah, because when you're in there they're just small. Mm-hmm. Whereas it's here they're, they're like large. The scale kind of thing. Because you would swear that these are bigger than the ones in there. Exactly, they're actually bigger. This one's uh, me and Scout, my only daughter. It's always good to have babies and things, celebrations. So I suppose the exhibition's about family and uh, yeah, fathers and daughters, fathers and sons. I think it's something that resonates with because because Falada was a uh, morphine addict and uh, had a very quite troubled life. And he was obviously, although he was a very successful novelist, and he was the only novelist, important German novelist, to stay in Germany during the, the uh, Third Reich, to the end, fall of the Reich. And uh, I got the feeling that he was definitely trying to glue the world together and make a real world, you know, beyond this. <laughs> 